I think it's fair to say that most of us, from time to time, take a lot on our shoulders and we forget to call on the angels to help us with the heavy lifting. We're going to talk about that on the show today. We're going to take some callers and answer their questions and bring them some messages from the angels. Angel Heart Radio programs should not be used to replace your legal or medical advice. Welcome everyone to Angel Heart Radio. You are our focus. We want you to know that you matter in the world and that you're important to the world. We're here to remind you of just how valuable and needed you are right now. Help us to help others. If you like what you hear, tell your friends, post, tweet, pin, let everyone know how amazing Angel Heart Radio is. So again, welcome to Angel Heart Radio. Powered by love, Angel Heart Radio is sponsored by angellight777.com. Hello and welcome everyone. We've got area code 718. Let's just see if this is Trudy. Hello there. Is this you, Trudy? Hello, area code 718. Is this you, Trudy? Or who am I speaking with? The Sola. Oh, hello, Zola. Sorry, you're you're calling just to listen, are you? I am. Okay, no worries. I'll put you on. If you want to uh, speak with us at any stage, just press number one and that will let me know. I'll put you on to listen. Thanks for calling and enjoy the show. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, everyone, today's topic is such an important one. I've had a message from Lisa. She's been called away and I don't know where Trudy is. <laughs> Trudy, if you can hear me, um, it's very unlike, un- unlike Trudy not to be here. So I'm assuming something's come up at the last minute for her. The energy is very up in the air today. I don't know about you guys, but uh, for me, I can really feel there's a lot of... Um, um, what's the word for it? It's kind of like things are moving around quickly and uh, we're being called upon to respond quickly as well. And this is where the angels come in so strongly for us and help us in so many ways. As human beings, we so often feel like we have to make all the decisions. We've got to make really fast decisions sometimes. And oftentimes we feel like we have to just keep pushing. We have to just keep going. And there are times when this really and truly doesn't serve us. It may feel that way at the time or we may think that's the way it is. Often it's our mental energy that gets in the way that says, I don't have any options. There's nothing else I can do. I'm really stuck I'm between a rock and a hard place. Yet when we look to the angels, when we really open up to the angels and ask them to come on in and do the heavy lifting for us, it seems like such a simple, um, probably simplistic way to move into this power. And yet, It's powerful, very, very powerful for us because not only are we opening our hearts, our minds and our bodies, all of our energy fields up to being assisted, we're opening that up, we are also giving the angels permission to come on in, to start showing us different ways new ways, unexpected ways that we may not even be aware of and possibly we've never considered before. So when you're feeling in that place where you're feeling stuck, that's the time, the most important time to really reach out to your angels, your guardian angels, your loved ones in heaven as well as spirit guides. Call upon benevolent beings to assist you, to help you find a way, a graceful way to move beyond the limitations that you may be currently focusing on. Now, we've got Christy on the line. We're going to bring you on air, Christy. Hello. Welcome. Hello. Welcome to Angel Heart Radio. Hi. Okay, Christy, 
Now, you are looking for some assistance from the angels today, yes? Yep, I am. Okay, so you are, <laughs> and they're going to give it to you. <laughs> Christy, <laughs> can you just, out of your head, what, if, what is the first number that pops into your mind, Christy? It's always eight. Number eight. Okay. So when we're looking at the energy of eight, it always signifies abundance and prosperity for us because it's the omega sign. There's no beginning. There's no end. It's a sacred symbol. And because of the endless uh, fluidity of this symbol, it's showing us that we may be limiting ourselves. And as we limit ourselves, we let go of possibilities. So it's about possibilities for you, not just for money, but for time and ideas, for everything you require here on planet Earth to live your best life. Now, Christy, did you hear uh-huh. the Archangel Nathaniel show that we did last week? I don't think I did, no. Oh, Wow, okay. Buckle your seatbelt and go have a listen to that one. Archangel Nathaniel is not necessarily a very well-known archangel, but he assists light workers. He, he, he's here to really help us, to boost us and propel us forward. Are you ready for change in your life, Christy? I am, I am. <laughs> yeah. how, okay, on a scale of 1 to 10, how, how ready are you? A nine. <laughs> you are ready. And you? nine. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So Archangel Nathaniel is definitely here for you then. Because one of the things about Nathaniel is he's got really, you know how Archangel Michael's got really strong energy? Yes. Archangel Nathaniel is the same way. Now, if you really want to have change in your life, Call on Archangel Nathaniel. Buckle your seatbelt because he moves very quickly. If you are really, truly ready, for people listening, if you're not quite ready to take the steps, then don't ask him to push you forward because he will. He will bring change. He will bring you. He will, he will encourage you and give you everything you need to make rapid change. So, Christy, Archangel Nathaniel is here with you today, giving you the opportunity to really work with him. I'm just going to... You've got a lot of noise in the background there. Honey, are you out in the wind or something? Am I what? You out in the wind or something. It's very, very noisy. Oh, I'm actually, um, you're on my, uh, you know, like the Cyrus thing when you're driving. It's like a... Oh, uh, we're on hands-free. Okay, okay. okay. No, 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 not if you're driving. Don't hold your phone when you're driving. I'd much rather be on hands-free when you're driving. Um, So Archangel Nathaniel is such a powerful archangel for you. He will work with you and guide you and lead you into new territories, he's saying. He's showing me, he's actually handing me a purple rose to give to you. And that signifies to me that it's about courage for you, Christy. And the reason he's coming through me and not going directly to you is because right now with you driving, he wants you to take, make sure that your focus is on your driving and on the road and on that responsibility. So he's coming through me to you just to really bring that energy level down a little bit for you. The other thing, Christy, he's showing me is on the show, we did a beautiful beautiful guided experience with Nathaniel. I'd really like to encourage you to go and have a listen to that, listen to the whole program. But the experience is in the last half. I'm not quite sure what time we did it. But he really will help you to connect with him on a really deep and powerful level by going through that guided experience on the show. He's also showing me, oh, okay, here we go. I'm going to put this back on. Um, He's also showing me um, a head headstone Christy Uh, a headstone so this is either signifying someone in heaven coming through to show support for you or it's time for you to lay something to rest something big 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 that you've been trying to lay to rest for a long time which one do you think it is oh my 
Um, hmm. Okay, what, what's it, what's the immediate thing that comes to mind? Uh, is it time to lay something to rest or is it someone in heaven? Well, I have a best friend in heaven that I miss for, you know, the last six years. And then I have an Aunt Jenny up there. Okay, so it's it, you've got you've got loved ones in heaven reaching out to you to say to you that they're actually trying to assist you. Um, when we've got spirit guides who have loved ones who have passed on, I mean, when we when we cross over, we don't instantly gain enlightenment. We but we do learn from a much higher perspective once we've done our life review. So I feel like, it, I just feel that Jenny, Jenny keeps coming, Jenny, Jenny, Jenny. I feel like there's something that you struggled with and really shared with Jenny and she tried to help you with while she was here on earth. And she's saying to me to ask you to contact her and work with her because she's got a much higher perspective. She's saying that her point of view has changed basically. And she she really wants you to, to understand that some of the guidance and the advice she gave you while she was here, she no longer feels is right. Does that make sense to you? I I don't quite understand. I don't think what she's trying to... Okay. That, that's okay. That's all right. Sit with it. Just sit with it and see if it becomes clear. If it doesn't, look, I might be wrong. If I'm giving you the information that she wants you to have, it will become clearer to you. And that's one of the most important things about having uh, reading is that... Yeah. When she was here, she protected me from my family because they were mean and evil towards me. And, um, yeah. <laughs> Okay, um, so she probably wants me to be more creative and use my gifts and talents. As, I don't know. She's and, already speaking to you. I mean, you're already getting it. You know, you're doing my job for me <laughs> at this oh, point in time. <laughs> which, which is really awesome, which is very powerful. Yeah. Because, see, this is your connection. You have such a strong connection, don't you? Already. It's so I, strong for you. I, I do. Sometimes I, 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 you know, as gifted people, I could channel, but not like all the time, I don't think. So that's when you need okay. help from others. So make sure but, yeah, that you're I constantly, um, make sure you're constantly shielding your energy and clearing your energy as well. So the angel of kindness has just stopped in, has just dropped in. I pulled a card for you to get a clarification whether or not I was giving you correct advice from Jenny and whether or not what I was saying to you was exactly what they wanted you to know yes 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 the angel of kindness um, is here to help you with this so make sure you call on the angel of kindness and all that amazing angel has to offer you and the colour apricot is associated with the angel of kindness Oh, okay. So, so cool. I'm also getting. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna pop you on mute again, just while I give you this next bit of info, just because of that background noise. Um, the angel of kindness is also indicating that she's going to bring forward an assignment for you. And you can work both with the angel of kindness and with Archangel Nathaniel. On this assignment she's saying to me that you will know what it is when it comes up okay you will know definitely know when this assignment and then your head steps in and says oh maybe it's not Forget what your head is saying and go with what your heart and your gut is saying because you have that connection. You already do know. And now it's going to be more important than ever to let the angels do the heavy lifting for you because the more you try and take on yourself, 
the more um, I feel that you're going to find yourself in circumstances and situations that you're just not quite sure how to get out of. And it's only because you've been using your mental energy and that's what's gotten you there. It's the, it's the yeah. heart energy. It's your spiritual energy you really need to tap into more fully now. It's time for you, Christy. You've been working toward this for a long time, haven't you? Mm-hmm. I have. Yeah. You have. And yeah, you're I'm... ready. You are ready. I am. Our minds always tell us. Our <laughs> ego will always say not. So by just simply asking the angels, angels, I'm giving you the heavy lifting. I'm giving it to you. Uh And then step back and watch things begin to unfold. When your mind starts jumping in to say, oh, I'd better do this. I've got to do that. If I don't do this, it's not going to work out. That's the time you've got to hand it over and step out of that. Because that energy will never support you. It's mental energy. It's dense and heavy and it will weigh you down. So tap into the angel's love for you. Yeah. So you've got the angel of kindness. You've got Jenny in heaven. And you've also got Mm -hmm. Archangel Nathaniel. Now there's three really powerful aspects of your call today. As I said, go and have to the Archangel Nathaniel program. You'll find it on angel, uh, angelheartradio.com and it's just okay. such a good one for you. It's, it's such a good one for you. So when my Aunt Jenny comes around, does she throw off a scent of perfume so that I know she's there? Well, that, well mm-hmm. you need to ask her that. My immediate reaction is, Um, Often the angels as well, when they come around, is it her perfume you're smelling? Yeah, because I would say like a couple years ago, like when I could feel her in the room, um, sometimes I have a hard time communicating with her. I don't know why, though. Um, But whenever there's like a perfume scent, you know, like you get a whiff of it, it's like I connected that with her. Uh, okay, yeah. so then that is definitely her. You'll often we often find the angels can also bring us a sweet smelling fragrance as well. So you okay. know you've you've got a lot of support here, and yeah. it's up to you now whether you are to hand all this over, and that's what it comes down to for all of us. Yeah, how willing I am I? And would yeah, yeah. So tap into the angel's strength. It's there for you. And keep in touch with us and let me know how you're doing because I do feel that the more you tap into this, the biggest – I just feel like you're going to take lots of steps and then a great big step and then lots Mm -hmm. more steps. So very excited for you now, Christy, because, um, you know, we've been speaking for quite a long time off and on on Angel Heart Radio and yeah. on Facebook as well. <laughs> we have. We've yeah. touched base just off and on over the years. We've touched base. And even just your voice now, I can hear in your voice the shifts that you've been making. Yeah. I can hear it. <laughs> I hear the resonance there. Um, so have faith in yourself. The angels have got a lot of faith in you. And um, it's your time. Yay. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> I'm going to put you on listen if you want to listen to the rest of the show. Now, here's the other thing about when you get um, assistance like this, guys. When you hear somebody else's reading or, or, or help, guided help, and it resonates with you, it is yeah. for you. The angels have a really okay. cool way of sending messages out via another person as well. So I'll put you on to listen, and we'll go and have a talk with Kiana. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Christy. You're welcome. Okay. Now, let's say, Kiana, am I, I've forgotten. Am I pronouncing your name correctly? Yes, ma'am. Kiana? Kiana. Mm-hmm. Kiana, thank you. <laughs> so that's the Aussie accent, isn't it? Ki- Kiana, a bit yes, harder. I Kiana, know. beautiful, absolutely okay. beautiful. Kiana, how can the angels help you today? 
Well, I'm just trying to get guidance. Um, and so I'm just trying to see what they have to say for me. Right now, okay. being honest, All right, I have been, I have been like, um, for lack of been pulled on, um, and I was trying to basically start increasing more spiritually. Yeah, okay, and, perfect. And so... Kiana, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you on to listen. I'm going to play some music. There's a disturbance outside with the dogs. They're barking and barking. I need to go and to attend to that, guys. I'm so sorry, but it's a great opportunity to listen to some awesome music by Faith Rivera. I'll be right back, and I will have some guidance and assistance for you.
Oh, wow. Isn't that absolutely superb? Called to be by Faith Rivera. And Faith's website is faithrivera, R-I-V-E-R-A dot com. Now, <clears throat> Have a listen to this, Christy. Look, this this is instant verification of your reading right here. I'm going to read you some of the lyrics from Faith's wonderful song called To Be. We are called to be the kindness, set the brokenhearted free. We are called to be forgiveness where pain has run too deep. We are called to be compassion, to be the wind beneath each wing. We are called to make communion, only then can we succeed. We are called to be a prayer, living out the truth we seek. We are called to be everything we are called to be. Oh, that is just superb. I love, 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 love Faith's music. And thank you so much, Faith, for your permission to feature your music on Angel Heart Radio. Kiana, wasn't that an absolutely superb song? Yes, ma'am. Yes, it was. Oh, I just love it. My daughter and heard it. And again. She had a beautiful voice. Oh, she's wonderful. She lives in Hawaii. Um, she's got really, all her music is like that. It's all about supporting us, supporting humanity on our journey into this beautiful energy of love and forgiveness and, and peace and hope and faith and creativity that we're all here to live. So she's a great one to check out and you can buy her music and you can listen to it at Reverb Nation as well. Okay, Kiana, so you're really now needing to have some guided assistance from your loving angels. We're asking them to do the heavy lifting for you, which is brilliant. So I'm going to ask you to do the same thing. I'm going to ask you to just, what's the first number that pops into your mind? The number six. The number six? Mm-hmm. Okay, all right. So six is usually about worry and release. Six is usually about holding on to earthly concerns and that includes um, material um, safety and support, including money. It also includes things like, how am I going to do this? I've got to figure that out. I don't know how that's going to happen. What can I do to bring it in, you know, to make it come about? Um, the great news is now that you're aware of what six, especially if it's coming up a lot for you, it's the angels really supporting you and helping you and guiding you to say it's time to let that go. It's time to move into a different energy frequency. See, six is about mental energy. And that's featured a lot today, isn't it? So mental energy is very dense and very, very heavy and it always weighs us down. And hey, I know a lot about this because I tap into this energy myself a lot. It's remembering when we do so to allow, just allow it to move forward. Just allow it to go. Angels, I notice I'm really focusing on my worries at the moment. Please help lift my perspective. It's as simple as that. It's time for you now, Kiana. I feel like they're showing me you're standing outside a door. There's a big door and a little door signifying that you've either got small changes that you can make or a great big change that you can make or lots of big changes. And it's up to you which door you take and either one is okay. If you want to go a little bit slower and take things a bit more cautiously, that's absolutely fine. If you're wanting to make bigger change, bigger changes, if you're wanting to make um, that big jump, that's, you're supported in that as well. So which door feels that it's right for you right now? Kiana, the big door or the, or the little door? I feel like I need to make some big changes. Big changes, okay. So, right, bingo. Here we go. So it's Archangel Nathaniel is here for you as well. How important is it? I mean, how lucky are we that we've got these amazing archangels and angels around us, helping us, supporting us, guiding us, leading us, giving us a push if we need it. Uh, that's what Nathaniel does. He gives us a push. 
So if you're ready for that big change, I just can't recommend Archangel Nathaniel highly enough. And he will support you every step of the way. He will also bring about your creativity. He will combine your creativity, your passion, your purpose. And he says you've got a lot of flair. You know what you know what I mean by flair? Um, I don't know. Fight in me. <laughs> okay, so I, do you know what do you know what do you know what I mean by flair? No, uh uh-uh. uh. You've got pizzazz. You've got oh, okay. pizzazz. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, um, I thought Nathaniel you was trying to talk saying, about like fight in me, like. <laughs> Yeah, and you do have that as well. You've got fire in you as well, don't you? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, you do. And so what Nathaniel can do for you is he can help you by helping to channel that fire into the um, into the actions, the thoughts, um, the decisions and choices that are going to support you on a much higher level. See, when we, I've got a lot of fire in my chart as well. And one of the things fire does is it burns us out. Whereas Nathaniel can lift it to new heights. And instead of burning us out, it will fuel us and carry us forward. That's where he is for you right now. He wants to help carry you forward. And fuel your passion in positive, powerful, creative ways. So for you too, I'd really like to suggest that you go and have a listen to the Archangel Nathaniel episode of the Archangel series on angelheartradio.com. We've done 15 Archangels so far with Archangel Jophiel, the last one in the series. And it's a brilliant series because it's... Yeah? Do you have classes? Actually, I'm thinking about creating a class next year. Are you interested? I'm interested in it now. <laughs> okay, great. Send me. I mean, like, are you on it Facebook? could be over the phone or through Skype. Yep. It'll be a Skype. PayPal. It'll be a Skype class. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm interested. Okay. Okay, brilliant. So, are you on Facebook? Yes, I'm on Facebook. Okay, um, Angel Heart Radio is on Facebook. Come along there and send me a private message and I'll get in touch with you and we'll arrange it. How's that sound? Okay, that sounds good. Perfect. Kiana, because you were really, really... See, there's your big door, isn't it? Yeah, and I'm very aggressive. I'm very outspoken. (laughs) Which is which is great because which is great because when when you begin to work with the really creative ways of using that energy, you'll find that it'll take you a long, long way, much, much further than we can just go on our own. When we've got a, when we've got this team on board with us, we can absolutely fly high. So the next the next thing i want to say to you before we finish up here and thank you for asking that by the way because um you've made me realize i i've, I've no, been thinking about my, it for a long um, time my um it came in my um spirit so it told me to ask you that so i went ahead and asked you well that's perfect because um i've been thinking about it for a long time and i haven't taken any action on it so you're showing me that it's actually time to take that action and i will now i will do that now Okay, so the next thing I want to say to you um, as, a, as a gift from your angels, as a, as a message from your angels, is that um, for you right now, it's really important for you to really start to understand that you've got a lot of healing energy mm-hmm. and you have healing hands. Yes. Archangel Raphael would like to work. You know this already? Yes, ma'am. I I know because I have used them, and and and, I, and um when I pray, I know people be like, okay, you gotta watch that energy because if you're praying, you don't want to, you know, send okay. too much energy to a yep. person. Um, I haven't. That's right. Master how to control that, you know. I'm not. Well, we can do that in the class as well. 
we can do that in the class as well because I also have healing hands and I understand. I've been, you know, I've been working with this energy for over 20 years now, so I do understand exactly what you're saying and I can help you with that as well. So in the meantime, ask Angel, ask us. Ask Archangel Raphael to put some healing gloves over your hands, which will help keep that frequency really nicely modulated. And what it'll do is it'll make sure that energy is coming through his energy instead of drawing on your own energy. It's important that you tap into the healing energy that is around rather than using your own as an energy source because that will only deplete you. Okay. Yeah, I know you, when you do when I do stuff um, like when I was doing praying for people, it'll drain me because they don't understand they're taking a lot from me. You know. Sorry, say that again. I said when I have it done was, like prayer for people, when I have yep. it drains me and they don't understand that. Like okay, seriously. Yep. Because you because you're coming from your energy source instead of the divine energy source. And that's very common. We all do it from time to time. It's learning how to recognize when we're doing it and what to do to change that. And with that that's fine. We can easily help you with that. Okay. Well, um it's you said Angel is Angel Radio. Raphael. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, so I'm Angel. Saying, Angel, that's oh. I look up so, Angel Radio. No, no. Okay, so think of Angel. Put your hand on your heart. No, I'm, saying, I'm trying to find you on Facebook. You tell me to look up. Yeah, um, Ange- yeah. Angel Heart Radio. Okay. Have you found us? I'm looking it up. I had to close out with my daughter had on there for That's okay. You go ahead and find that. Going back to, while you're doing that, I'm going to take us back to that song by Faith Rivera. Now, have a listen to these lyrics. I'm called to be a healer for all humanity. I'm called to be a dreamer. Believe in what can be. I am called to be a maker, be an instrument of peace. I'm called to be a giver of abundance. I receive. I'm called to be a prayer, living out the truth I seek. I'm called to be everything. I am called to be. So for everyone listening, you may be called to be a parent. You may be called to be um, a seamstress, someone who creates beautiful clothing immersed with love. You may be called to be um, a writer, a teacher. You may be called to be anything. There's no limit on what we can call to be and there's no... Uh, it's also important to remember there's no nothing's too small. See, we look at things and we say, oh, that's not a big enough purpose. Everything's a big enough purpose. Have you found us there, Kiana? Yes, um, I see you on here. I, this is terrific. Send your message. Okay, that's and fantastic. You want me to just send Kiana, you my... you, well, just send me your email. That'd be great. Okay. 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 Then. All right, so you were called to be, and we're going to help you with that. And there's going to be a lot of support around you over the next seven days. I'm feeling things are just going to start popping up for you. So really pay attention to what feels right for you, even if it doesn't seem to be related, okay? Okay. And remember, let the angels do the heavy lifting. (laughs) That's so important. Okay. I, well, that's why I'm asking you about the classes because the um, I felt compelled to ask you that. Okay. Fantastic. Well, you and I are going to work together in 2017. It's a year for new beginnings and this is going to be a wonderful way to begin it. I'll be in touch with you with a, with a course structure and um, letting you know what I'm offering and, and we'll, we'll go from there. How's that sound? Okay. And it will that be on Skype. Great. Okay. That sounds wonderful. And it'll be great on Skype because we can see each other as well. It's lovely to have that connection. Yes, Sam. Okay. Kiana, you've done a brilliant thing by calling in today, and your call will help other people as well. I already know Christy's going, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> I can feel her in the background. Something in your um, reading has helped her as well. So I'm going to put you on to listen and you'll find all our programs on angelheartradio.com. But if you're particularly interested in listening to the Archangel series, my website is Angel Light 
777.com. Angel Light 777.com. They're all there as well. As well, it's very convenient, and there's free angel guidance there as well. Thanks, Kiana. Lots of love to you. Well, okay, thank you so very we've much. got. You're very welcome. I look forward to working with you. Have a great Christmas. Okay, everyone, we've got area code 718 has put their hand up. Hello and welcome. You're live on the show. What's your name? It's Zola. Zola, thanks. I didn't write it down before and I couldn't remember. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Zola, welcome. <laughs> I'm not Zola. I'm Zola. I beg your pardon? Is this Zola? Oh, can you spell it for me, please? O L A. No oh, problem. Bizola. It's... Oh, what, yeah. what a beautiful name. Bizola. B I Z. Thank you. Okay, how can we help you today? Good evening. So, this is, I just moved um, away from my family and to start a new job in a different state by myself. And um, it felt like a good move. I prayed about it and really yep. felt I had good guidance. But um, now that I'm here, it has shifted dramatically. So, yeah, <laughs> trying to yep. figure out what that shift okay, is well, about. Well, one of the things to know at the moment is, see, this year, 2016, there's a lot of really incredibly um, sudden things happening on the planet. There's a lot of big energy on the planet. And this is a year for letting go, for completion. It's not a year for new beginnings, which isn't to say that you shouldn't move. But what I'm saying about that is when you do move, sometimes the energy then peters out and you begin to think, oh, did I make the right decision? The new will come in 2017. Okay? That's the first thing to know. Okay. The second thing is, like like with the other callers, would you like to choose a number, just the first number that pops into your mind, and we'll have a look at what the energy around that is for you. Okay, five. Number five. <laughs> See, here's change. Change, 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 change. <laughs> five always, <laughs> it always signifies that there are significant changes around you and that it's really important for you now with all this change going on to make sure that you are tapping into all the angels help and assistance and guidance and that you are continually checking in with them because with change in a transitional period what often happens for us as people is we go and draw on our mental energy and we think, what do I do next? Oh, I don't really mm-hmm. like that. I'm not quite sure what to do about it. Oh, I don't really know what that me- All our mental energy, and we, we can easily disconnect from our spiritual nature, from our feeling okay. nature, and from the help of the angels. So it's important to... And mental energy is wonderful and it will help drive us forward, but it can also slow us up. And... Okay. I feel for you, it's important to simply let it go, be where you are, just be where you are. Just know we're coming to the end of this beautiful year. It's been a very challenging year in lots of ways for lots of people. Yet at the same time, it's actually closed down, wound up, brought to a conclusion, lots and lots of... Um, energy, situations, events, and even people in our lives. Mm -hmm. And it's really gearing us up and getting us ready now for this next coming year. And around Mm -hmm. April, we've got the veil is thinning. Do you remember in um, December 2012 Mm -hmm. when all the energy, the consciousness on the planet, really began to become heightened and the energies were really amazing. Do you remember that? Yeah. You might not, and it's okay if you don't. Okay. Mm. Around April, the same thing is going to happen again. The okay. same type of thing. The energy is really beginning to... Um, take another transformational leap for us and 
we can go along with that. We can mm-hmm. really allow ourselves to tap into that. But if we don't be where we are right now and allow what needs to be concluded to be concluded, we're not really prepared for it. So okay. it's really important to allow yourself this little bit of time between now and, and particularly April for you okay. to just, and I feel there's some grieving that hasn't, you haven't completed, but you're a bit sick of it or you don't want to do. Um, there's, there's a loss there. It's like, I've had enough. I just want to move on. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. But, you know, the angels are saying they're supporting you with that. But you can't rush through because what this is doing for you is as you are, as you are dealing with this loss and this grief and moving through the feelings and energies around it, what it's actually doing is it's, it's actually uh, tweaking your energy. Your whole energy system is undergoing change. So mm-hmm. you may experience, um, you may feel like you're getting you know, more a, a cold. Uh, you may sort of get low-grade viruses uh, between now and then. And that's not to say you're sick. It's just your body is releasing and shedding um, a lot of the old to prepare you for the incoming new, for the wonderful energies that are really coming in to support you. And they're showing me a symphony now, and you're part of this orchestra you know, we look at an orchestra and we sometimes don't even hear significantly each individual instrument. There may be an instrument you think, well, they didn't play anything. Yet if we took them out, you'd notice it very, you'd really notice And that's, that's you. Okay. You are part of the orchestra, the orchestra of love and light that's playing here on planet Earth. So as easy it is, to get um, caught up in conversations and even just mental musings about what's going on with, you know, various aspects of politics and um, world events. It's important that you unplug as much as you can because it's draining. It's draining you. It's not giving you anything. And it's then, excuse me, it's, and then as it drains you, what it also does is it um, distracts you from what really is important for yourself. So okay. this distraction um, isn't serving you. It never serves any of us, but it's also mm-hmm. a great teacher because as we understand what it's like to really be distracted and then mm-hmm. when we leave that energy and then come into... Uh, the, the, a clearer energy, oh my gosh, we feel it, don't we? We feel how wonderful it is to just feel back to being in sync. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Now, yes. There, there seems to be some travel coming up for you as well, by Zola. I'm hoping so. Are so. you aware so, of travel? No, I'm not. So I guess I have been feeling so uncomfortable in this new job. I started looking for new jobs. So, but... Okay. In light of what you said, I don't know if I should stay here because it's a brand new state. It's, everything is very uncomfortable for me. I'm just in a very uncomfortable space here. Okay, so what I'm getting for you around travel is it's more the internal travel. Okay. There's a lot of, you, you know, it's like mapping your soul and traveling within that map. Now, they're saying to me with regards to your job, uh, if you can stick it out a little bit longer, I think one of two things is going to happen. Either you're going to then find a level of comfort in this job or next year something new is just going to crop up for you and you're going to be able to transition very easily. Okay. Okay. So... But again, this must feel right for you with all readings, Bazola. If it doesn't mm-hmm. feel right for you, let it go. Okay. This is one of the most important messages that I've got about having readings from anyone. Mm-hmm. If it doesn't feel right, let it go. Um, again, one of two things will happen. It will either drop away or a new understanding will come through. Okay. Mm. Okay, so the colours green and yellow are important for you at the moment as well. 
Uh, it's okay. a it's a beautiful combination, and it it signifies health and abundance, and it also signifies new growth. Okay. It's funny you say that because okay. I noticed I was like, I wear a lot of black. Why am I wearing too much black? Green and oh, yellow. okay. Like, so, and yeah, get some color going as well. Because, I mean, hey, I actually really love wearing black. I really mm-hmm. like It's a very sophisticated color. Yet at the same time, it doesn't really do much for our energy field. So if you really love wearing black, introduce color, layer it with some color. Yes, I know. If I you just, feel... I really don't wear it. Often, I just noticed it today. I was like, I think I, I don't know if my book just significant. It just popped to me today. I was like, you keep wearing black, wear some color. <laughs> yeah, get some color going. Yeah, I went through a period once uh, for about two years where the only thing I ever wore was white. It was just amazing. I didn't own any color at all, just white, and it was a, a time of tremendous growth for me. Uh, to this day, white is still my absolute favourite out of everything, but I wear a lot of colour now as well. So just okay. notice how you're feeling when you're wearing something. Oh, hang on, they're also showing me something. What is it? I, okay, they're suggesting that you create a little altar. Now, an altar okay. is just a space, and it can be it can be as small as a shoebox. It can be a beautiful big table. It can be the top of your dresser. But it's a okay. sacred space, a, a, a place where you uh, have a lovely candle and place some objects that have significance or meaning for you. And whenever okay. you are at your altar, simply take a breath and remember, just give thanks for all you are, for all the support that flows so effortlessly to you from your loving angels and the archangels and ascended masters. And just spend a moment or two every day in front of the altar. Do you have a deck of angel cards or some sort of oracle cards that you really like? Um, no, no. Because, well, something's coming to you because I can see an oracle card on that altar. You'll either find one or somehow okay. you're going to come in contact with either a deck of cards or a single card. It feels like a deck to me, but I can only see one card turned over. Um, so just pay attention to that. Someone may gift you some cards. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to happen, but I just feel like there's a, there's a deck of cards and I can just see you each day just flipping one card over and just seeing what it says for you, um, okay. which also can signify that you're going to be taking guidance one step at a time. Okay. I feel it's okay. peaceful. It's very peaceful for you. This will usher in a new peace, a new way of living in peace that I don't feel you've really experienced to this level before. So it's a lovely time coming up for you, Basola. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. You're so, Thank so you. welcome. And, you know, please listen again. Join us on Angel Heart Radio, uh, on Facebook, however you'd like to connect. It would be lovely to know what's happening with you, how you're going in your, new, in your new state, in your new job, and just what's happening. Thank you so much. I will. Thank you so much Good for night. calling. Lots of love and take care. Good night. Oh, it's just so lovely having all these beautiful people call into the show. It just feels so warm and generous and and loving to me to be able to connect with you guys and have that sense of what it means. This is what Angel Heart Radio is about. It's a way of connecting with you and helping remind you about how important you are how much the angels love you, how deeply they connect with you and love helping you and to remind you as well to rely on them, to simply rely on them. And as you rely on them, you will be amazed at how your life opens up and the beautiful things that just come to you, beautiful people, feelings, events, you'll find things. You'll just find things. Ask for a signal, a sign to be dropped in front of you. And I'd also, I've I've mentioned the archangels a lot today. 
And I want to let you know Archangel series is available. I've got nine of the Archangels up on my website, angellight777.com. They're all on angelheartradio.com, but I'm putting them in one place on angellight777.com to make it easy. And it's like, I have never heard anything like the Archangel series. It's superb. And I really invite you to go and check it out and discover maybe some of the angels, the Archangels, you may not even heard of and to learn the ways that they support you and guide you and bring you peace and harmony. Okay, we've got lots of wonderful programs coming up on angelheartradio.com. Next week we have, oh man, oh man, if you love astrology, Tuesday, I'm not sure what time, Tuesday in the USA, Wednesday in Australia, go to angelheartradio.com. Check on the show link for, let me just get it for you, Janet Hickok is an absolutely brilliant astrologer. She takes calls and she will help you to understand what is happening for you in your life, what stargates are opening and closing for you. So it's called Jupiter and Saturn, Worldly Issues and Personal Karma. So here we go. Janet can assist you and show you how it's all influencing your life right now and you can call into the show and get a reading with her as well so angelheartradio.com find the link for that click on it and it will open up in your time zone so you'll know what time it's on and it's that's it for me now we're out of time thanks so so much for joining me today it's been lovely as always to connect with you and speak with you and spend some time with you and as i leave today tonight for a lot of you guys I just would like to say this that a little bit of kindness goes a long long way and it's especially powerful when we begin with being kind to ourselves you've been listening to another fabulous program on Angel Heart Radio our goal is to remind you of how much you matter in the world and to let you know that we appreciate who you are in the world You can check out who's on, when we're on, and who our guests are at angelheartradio.com. Everything is there. It's all just one click away. Angel Heart Radio programs are powerful tools to help you in your life and your life experience. They are not intended, nor should they, be used to replace your medical or legal advice. The views expressed by hosts co-hosts, callers, guests and associates should not be construed as advice from Angel Heart Radio.